good. What's up everyone, Phoenix Master one here, welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon X and Y, and in this episode we're gonna be checking on the 4 gym leader, and we just found a Sky Plate, so Sky Plate boosts the power of the flying type moves, so yeah, so what I was saying that we'll be beating the 4 gym leader, and uh, we'll be using, not our homie, but we'll be using Ricky, because Ricky is a ice type Pokemon, so he can take on these things pretty well. I'm gonna go here. Can just climb these things up. I already fought all of these trainers, so it's not tough for me. And uh let's just go here. And I'm feeling like a Donkey Kong. So let's climb up here. And hopefully our Ricky can even evolve at this moment because Ricky evolves at level 39 into Aurorus and uh, it only evolves in night so I'm recording this in night okay so let's go there let's go up here and here and this gym was uh, shown in the very first trailer of Pokemon X and Y that came out in January so, yeah, and uh, the trainer lost his sunglasses at this very spot. This just very spot. On this, on this. The, the glass just fell there. So, many people speculated it. And uh, let's climb up here. And we are almost there. Come on. And there we go. Here we are. Hello, good sir. We are to we are here to kick your ass. So can we do it? Okay. Okay, it's quite an old man. Okay, who is he? Ramos. Okay, Vapor Snapper. Just kinds of words that old people say. Anyways, let's fight him versus Ramos, the Grass type gym leader. So let's challenge him. And he sends out Jump Bluff, really good matchup for us because we have Ricky. And Ricky is an Ice Rock type, so we have extra advantage here. Four times super effective Aurora Beam. Okay, lead Seed, okay, so this is bad. But you won't be living to sap my health, Jump Bluff. And one hit kill, easily. And, uh,. What do we, what does he have? Okay, Vape Reach to level 40. Nice. Weapon Bell, fine. Even though uh, we are weak to grass types, I am pretty sure uh, our Ricky can do a very good job. Okay, not very effective. Special defense down. Let's go for this takedown. It does super effective takedown. Thanks to that ability refrigerate which converts all of the normal type moves into ice type moves. And homie grew to level 41. Okay, homie wants to learn slash. I guess we should let it learn that. Uh yep, sure. You can learn that. And there we go. Homie learned slash. Nice. And uh, he's about to send Go Goat, his signature Pokemon. So we can easily take down this go -Goat with one takedown. Grass not okay, but I do have Evil Light on this thing, so I don't think it will be killing. Yeah, it didn't. But this is gonna kill this go -Goat. What? It didn't? Wow. Surprisingly now, sir, I have to send out my Mega Charizard X because your go -Goat is not cooperating right now. Let's Mega Evolve and hit this thing with a slash yes what he uses a hyper potion oh what a jerk let's go for this and let's do this again yeah mega charizard x kicking your ass let's go for the slash it's a clean two hit ko but we can go for the super effective fly let's go let's go i love the animation of fly I really do. Boom! 
so we got our third badge and I guess as the team we'll be getting uh, Grass Knot I guess yes Grass Knot Lapras is trying to learn Ice Beam okay it can learn Ice Beam can't forget Rain Dance and there we go and uh, we defeated leader Ramos so we got our fourth badge from this man plant badge okay woo so we got our fourth badge plant badge and let's see what team does he give yeah you can use a gem fly after this battle and uh, in outside and travel between the towns and we got grass knot so the power of grass knot depends on the weight of the target so it's a really nice attack but if you use it in higher tiers and you use it against the pokemon which have high weight for example like tyranitar agron and the groudon pokemon like pokemon like that so grass knot will do way too much damage so we are out of here let's see how much time did we take to beat this guy six minutes okay we still have quite a lot of time here and uh, then then we can go on uh, okay holo clip okay thanks for interrupting me okay Lysandre here okay now that's truly wonderful with that power better direction okay you're a team player man I don't want to talk to you you're a bad guy so now we can fly to uh, let's use fly right now I wanna use fly, so let's go to uh what is that city? Yes. So it's it city. Where we found uh, our second batch and we also got our bicycle. Whoa, this animation is amazing. <laughs> this is awesome. This is incredibly awesome. So here we are in Silent City and we are here to catch a Pokemon, a water type Pokemon. And let's go. And uh Yeah, thank you for restoring my Pokemon. And uh now we can catch that Pokemon that I was talking about. Let's get our bicycle out. No, I want to take out my bicycle on the good rod. Yes. And uh, let's go. And we need to use this good rod here, like this. And what do we have? Yes, I want a launcher. Okay, a Seedra. It's okay. So it will be also good to catch the Seedra, but I want to catch some other Pokemon. So I need to run here because I don't have much time. And uh, let's catch that. Nothing. Uh, let's try it again. Okay, so he gets out of his bike to do the fishing. Let's do this again. I'm trying on the Spain, same spot. Well, launcher, come on. Yes, this is what I wanted. Launcher appeared. It's level 25. It's uh, quite a low level Pokemon. But we can cast this Pokemon right here. We can go for that ancient power. Wait, this is a female launcher. Come on. Play, wow. Cat flail. Okay, so I guess I need to run. I need to find a male launcher because we do have like one female already, which is Cordelia, and I don't need any more females. Uh, not that I'm getting uh, mean or wet, but I just want a male launcher. Come on out. Also, I wanted a launcher which is high level. It was just 25, and I believe you can find the launchers up to level 20, uh, level 30, I guess. So let's run here, and uh, another launcher, please. We need to get a launcher, come on. So a high level 
plunger. Okay, I reeled too fast. That was my mistake. So let's go again and catch a plunger. Okay, nothing. Okay, let's try uh, here. Okay, so it's not the water completely. So let's try it here. What do we have? Yep. Come on, be a plunger. Seed draw, come on. Come on, please, I don't want any more seed rush here. Let's run away. What if the Seedra had Swift Swim? Wow. So let's go and uh, try at this spot to fish and get a Cloncher. Nothing. Okay. So you can catch Cloncher here. And uh, let's try out here. And the Blue Sea. What do we have? Nothing. Okay. I need to catch a Quantra, come on, please, I've already said this like 100 times. Yep. Please don't be a seed, uh, a horsey, come on, don't be a horsey. Okay, we have a Quantra, and I'll be satisfied with whatever I have this time. It's a male Quantra, that's what I wanted. Let's go for this ancient power right here, and weaken this thing. It evolves at level 37. Bubble Beam, okay, you can go for the Bubble Beam, but it'll be powered up with that rain. So, if you guys already don't know, if you use water type moves in rain, their power is boosted by 50%, so pretty good. And let's go into Jolteon real quick. And we can paralyze this thing. I wanna catch it positively with a Pokeball. Come on. And. There we go. And now it will be easier for us to catch. Ouch. I can uh, just catch it with the boogie ball right here. And then we can end this episode. Come on, get caught here. One, two, three. Are you there? Yes, you are there. We caught a Clauncher. Awesome. So, I guess we... I would have to train this Clauncher. And let's nickname this Clauncher as... I have something in my head for this Clauncher. Mm. What do I have? Yes, I want to nickname this thing. Where's my stylus? Where's my stylus? Come on. Okay, it's in the back. There we go. I got my stylus and let's just nickname this thing. And uh, we nicknamed this thing uh, as... Okay, wait. I'm not complete yet. Where do I get that capital letter? Come on! There we go. I nicknamed this Clauncher as Rip Claws. Yeah! So let's check out this uh, Clauncher and let's see what nature it is. Uh, I guess this Pokemon is a physical attacker. So it will be good if we had a nature that could uh, enhance our attack. And Clauncher is only uh, available for the players who have Pokemon X. And uh, let's deposit this uh, Lapras. Okay, my box 1 is full. My box 2 is also full. Whoa. So let's withdraw this thing. Okay, not, not items. No, 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 no. I wanna organize boxes. And we have here the Clauncher, the man, Rip Claws. And uh, let's put this in this in our team. And this is the only Pokemon which is not fully evolved. So let's see its stats and what nature it is real quick. Okay. So it's Hasty Nature. Okay. So this nature... Uh, it's kind of, you can say it's good, but not even that bad. 
so this nature enhances your speed but lowers your defense so I wish I had got like adamant or something but this thing has special attack more than attack Wow uh, this is something amazing and this has ward stance bubble flail and bubble beam and uh, yes so bubble beam is the f uh, that's more powerful attack than bubble so let's go and tease this rip claws uh, surf come on yep it can learn it can learn surf and uh, let's tease this too this and uh, we can replace with uh, I guess flail or what yes we can replace this with uh, bubble beam or surf we can replace this thing as with bubble bubble is useless attack so there we go surf it's one of the most powerful attack of water water type Pokemon and it's very accurate as well unlike the hydro pump so let's fly back to that town oh where it is yes Pomarine town city whatever you wanna call and this is really cool so I'll be training this uh, clauncher a bit and uh, yeah also uh, I had something in my mind if I found a gibbite on this route you can catch a gibbite on route 13 I'm a big fan of Mega Garchomp, uh, Mega Garchomp and uh, if I get one we can uh, just replace this thing with uh, that uh, rib claws that is our launcher so that is what I was thinking please give me a suggestion and mountain uh, Kalos Dex is added so I'll try to find a, uh, a gibbite here I know you can catch a gibbite here I really wanna do but I guess I should stick with launcher for for good because I have like only one Kalos region Pokemon which is no, three Kalos region Pokemon which is Rip Claws, Wake and Ricky. So I guess it's good. We have two Kanto Pokemon and one Hoid Pokemon. So our squad is built. So this is my final team. Which is uh, Aurora's, Charizard, Chestnut and Jolteon and Cordelia uh, which is Gardevoir and uh, Launcher. So this is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, if you enjoyed, please make sure to leave a big thumbs up and answer the the, the comment, uh, comment question, whatever that is, uh, it will be in the description somewhere if I uh, think to put it up, but please answer that question of the day, and uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next episode of uh, Pokemon X and Y, and it's been night here, so I wanna go and sleep now. So yeah, thank you guys for watching my video and I'll see you guys in the next episode.